Hey Pisces, this is Alex, and I'm here to bring you your Good Vibes reading. Um, this reading is being published in July of 2020, but of course, it may resonate at any given moment in time. For this reading, we're doing two oracles, and then we're doing two tarot card spreads. The first oracle is the overall energy. The second oracle is angelic guidance. So let's see what we have. Vanessa, to make your decision, ask yourself, which way brings me closer to my divine purpose? Which way takes me away from it? Okay. So typical Pisces, right? Because you are, you guys are the sign of duality. Um, and it seems pretty clear cut and simple. Um, I feel like maybe for a lot of you guys, you could be making an important move in your life right now. Um, and you're just, you know, it's weird because it's almost like you may be trying to decide over, you know, family and money or location and, um, you know, um, market value. I don't know. Like, it just kind of feels like there is this dual yet equal decision you guys are trying to make. And um, it's the, the hardest part of this, the decision, believe it or not, it feels like both outcomes are good news. You know, both outcomes are actually beneficial to you and your family. So you're trying to make the right decision on what to do. Um, the first card out is the Five of Swords. You know, there could have been selfishness or somebody racking their brain to maybe try to get their way about this. Um, angels are saying maybe this is people trying to sway you and pull you towards, you know, their direction and trying, you know, basically trying to get you to do what they want. Um, the Knight of Pentacles, which is basically slow progress. Um, and this feels like money coming in. So I kind of feel like if money is a part of whatever this situation is, it is coming in, but it's kind of trickling in versus rushing in. With the Six of Cups, I feel like there is a little bit of reminiscing or notoriety or comfort comfort there which is a part of this decision as well so yeah that would make sense to me because it's almost like okay do i make a decision of comfort or do i make a decision of practicality right um six of cups also represents past lovers coming in but it, i don't i don't know if that's that energy the energy here specifically um the magician you're trying to figure out um what part you play in making this decision as in how much you can manifest versus how much the universe is going to manifest. Ooh, the nine of pentacles. This is you um, not wanting to make the wrong decision. So it's almost like you're trying to make a decision from a vacuum where it's almost like, okay, there, you know, I can't mess this up. Right. Um, with the hierophant here, this is a card of Taurus. You know, maybe a lot of you guys are seeking or need to seek counsel or someone to assist you with this decision. Right under it is the um, three of pentacles. And then right under it is the six of pentacles, right? So whatever this decision is, yes, absolutely. It feels like it has to do with finances or something financial, uh, finance related where you're just right smack dab deadlocked into the middle of a decision and not necessarily knowing what to do what i'm also hearing too especially with the six of cup six of cups in the middle and you look at their two happy faces maybe um the decision that you do make it could be related to um any kids in your life you know if you are physically moving you see the kind of grandparents in the background and saying, okay, where are we going to move close to family? Are we going to move close to a school district? You know, are the kids going to be happy? So on and so forth. Or are we moving to a place where we can have kids and raise kids um, in this new environment? Yeah, you got the Hiro fan again. And the, uh, okay, that makes sense. It's decision of whatever this is that's going on. It's, it's moving slow, but I feel like it's moving slow uh, because the universe is waiting for you to make a decision, but you're definitely afraid of making 
a decision that's going to hurt you or hurt other people and you're praying about it um, and maybe even waiting for guidance from the universe or the universe to kind of show up and give you an answer. Uh, with the Ace of Pentacles here, I feel like this is, you know, this is a big decision. This is a big decision. Um, it, it comes with a lot of opportunity. I feel like this is an absolutely good move or good thing that's happening for you, Pisces. And here is Taurus showing up again, um, where, uh, you know, again, you may be. Mm, OK, angels just said to me, for a lot of you, this decision could have to do with a spouse or, a, you know, somebody who you're dealing with, whether it's a spouse, whether it's a partner or something of that nature. It's almost like they may be going through a trans transition and you're trying to figure out if I want to up, um, uproot myself, my life to go where they're, they're going and to do what they want me to do. And it looks like that spouse or the partner is being really selfish and they're only thinking about themselves or they may be thinking about themselves and a kid, their kids. Um, no, it's like they're they're selfish and they're only thinking about themselves and what's going to make them happy and what's um, the best thing for them and where we currently live. You know, I'm growing out of it and it's the right thing to do. And hey, there'll be all kinds of things you could do. Um, you could look for a job or you could start doing this. It's almost like somebody's trying to sell you on something. You could always, you know, work on that hobby or we'll be over here and you always wanted to travel to Paris it's almost like they're selling, trying to sell whatever this decision is, right? What's important for you, Pisces, is to remember that um, you also have a purpose too, right? Um, you know, again, to make your decision, ask yourself, which way brings me closer to my divine purpose, right? You have a purpose too, and you, you know, a lot of you could be working on something as well. You have your own goals and things of that nature, Um do not neglect those goals, Pisces, by the way, okay? I do kind of feel like with the magician and the high priestess here, right? The magician and the high priestess, that's kind of saying to me um, that you guys are really looking for divine intervention here. You're looking for intuitive information, channeled information, or, you know, maybe even like the other shooter drop to give you a sign directly on what to do. Prince of Pentacles, which, yeah, it kind of feels like, um, you know, it's almost like you're you're trying to make sure that you're making the right um, decision, especially financial as well. Yeah, and this is something that's tough because I kind of feel like you're in your head. And for a lot of you, you can, kind of could have closed yourself off to... Um, you're thinking about this so much where you're just kind of locked in your head. The Eight of um, Swords is a card of restriction, uh, especially mental restriction. It's almost like you're um, one track minded for some of you. And then also just kind of quote unquote trapped in your thoughts, right? Sitting there with the Hierophant though is again, kind of basically wanting somebody to come in and kind of rescue you out of this situation. And on the bottom um, under the Eight of Swords is the Ace of Cups. So this could be, believe it or not, I would not make a decision um, using my emotions. But for you, Pisces, it sounds like, again, you know, going back to this card as well, that your emotions need to be considered with respect to your happiness. And then the Six of Wands there as well, and then the Six of Pentacles after it basically says, you know, not necessarily follow your heart, but consider your heart. That's going to lead you to victory. And, you know, if this person that you're with or this new environment that you're moving to is the best place, then you both should be able to get something out of it instead of just one of you. Okay, so let's kind of move over to your Oracle cards to see what additional information God, angels and universe has for you. Look at the card at the bottom is abundance. So it could be a decision about, you know, love versus happiness. Excuse me, not love versus happiness. Um, finances versus happiness or finances related to love. Meaning, 
you can move somewhere and get like a huge increase in your salary, but it won't make you happy. Or you can stay where you are at the lower salary, but it won't, you know, it won't, um, and be the happiest, by the way. Healing uh, flew out, right? Um, for me, this is maybe the person in which you're dealing with, because I kind of feel like they are not considering you as much as they should be. I don't necessarily know if you, this healing is for you, Pisces. I don't feel like it is. I could be wrong, but I don't feel like it is. I kind of feel like there's something else at play in your situation that you are unaware of that is going to re require healing going forward. Body care. Again, this goes back. Make sure that whatever it is that you're doing, you're going to be happy. Make sure if you have to make this decision that you're getting enough sleep at night, you know, you're taking care of yourself, drinking enough water, um, and giving your mind ample time to rest is what I'm getting as well. For a lot of you guys, I don't feel like you're, you're thinking over time. I just kind of feel like um, when you do think, it's just heavy, heavy, heavy on your mind. And listening, you know, this is the card that says, yeah, listen for that gut feeling, that angelic advice, angelic advice angelic advice that little voice you know that kind of comes in i don't feel like this voice is going to tell you what to do i don't i don't i feel like this voice wants to confirm that maybe the person who you're dealing with maybe doesn't have your best interests at heart i think that's what that listening um feels like or what that listening means anyway guys if the reading resonates you know what to do love you bye